Yo, what up, YouTube? So today's video is all about iridescent brick. They finally changed it back to what it's supposed to do. So I tried making a video about this like a little bit earlier. It was like my stealth Billy video. And originally I saw this and I was like, two seconds, that's so fast. This is gonna be so fun to use. And then I put it on and then it was bugged and it ended up being five seconds and it made me really salty. I ended up having to change my whole build around and use a bunch of different stuff. So this is now the actual video dedicated to this add-on because it's fixed and it actually works after two seconds now. So this is really cool. I The whole point of this video is me combining this with Apex Muffler, which makes it so my chainsaw is silent outside of my tear radius, which will be everywhere as long as I've been chainsawing for two seconds. So basically, if I've been in sprint for two seconds, I am dead silent. There's no chainsaw sound. There's no tear radius. There ain't no nothing. Ain't nothing. I'm also just running my regular build. I'm not trying to do anything special for this. I'm not planning on like putting together an entire build just based around trying to get cross map chainsaws or anything like i was thinking about throwing on tinker and stuff but it seems a little overkill i kind of want to just play with these add-ons with like a really regular build that i would normally run and just see how it goes right if i can get like a couple cross maps on onto like generators then awesome but honestly i just want to see if like me just chainsawing around the map and being undetectable while doing it can kind of like catch survivors in a bad position you know i feel like the fact that i'm going to be stealth a lot of the time means i might just like roll up on like a generator or roll up on like a jungle gym and survivors won't even know i'm there until it's too late and i kind of just want to see how it plays with my regular build so my perks are just my regular setup except where i usually have infectious fright i replaced it with discordance just so that i have i have the chance to get like cross map chainsaws on generators and that's it that's the entire build so uh let's give it a go all right i feel like every time i burn a farm offering to try to get like an open map i always get rancid abattoir every time wow that was fast which is like one of the least open maps okay that undetectable kicks in quick oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah that works like a charm oh yeah oh yeah baby that's that's pretty good that's pretty solid. You should vault that. Woo, almost. Almost. That's that's tough to do now because if you whip it a little bit too hard, then you go past it. That's actually like a really tough... Wow, she really cornered up, huh? She really did corner up. Oh, she got out. Oh, I let her out. Oh, no. I let her out of her cage. How could I have done this? Mmm, that wouldn't have landed. All right, I'm just going to go back and hook. She played that really well. She played that really well, and I played that kind of dumb. I'm just going to go back and hook. Doesn't matter though. Oh, wait. Oh, the, the, uh. What? Did you crawl the way back here? How does that not land? How does that not land? Live? Yep, live. She's out of here. Damn, dude. There was two more people in the corner too. That works for me. That works for me. I'll take it. Let me throw one on a hook real quick and maybe, dude. They they full healed in that corner. I think. I believe they full healed in that corner. Right. Man, that cross map worked like a charm, though, dude. Hey, dude. What you, what you doing here? What you, what you plan here, my dude? Is that your plan? Are you sure? Are you sure about this plan? Are you sure that this is a good plan? Are you 100% about this plan? Because I'm not so sure. Hi. What's up, Lori? How you doing? Hold on. Let me hook your buddy here. Hold on. No, no, no. Don't unhook yet. No. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Wow, that was quite a hook teleport. That really shot me backwards. I kind of want them to get some distance. That way I can go for some long range chainsaws again. Because that was pretty that was pretty dirty off spawn. Also, they burnt a purple mist, which is why it's so misty. Which might actually kind of help me with like cross maps. Wait a minute. Oh, we just kept going. Okay, okay. I was like, where the hell did this guy go? But now I see. Um Was he fast right there, or was I just slower than I thought? Interesting. Works for me. Very predictable Ash. He kind of just, like, stared right at the window, eyes forward. Did not really sell anything. Like, didn't seem like he was going to fake it or nothing. Just kind of eyes straight forward. Yes, and you block yourself. That's a really good idea. That's a really, really solid idea. I dig it. Good job. Well done. You're doing a fantastic job, Lori. Keep it up. Whoa, dude, you guys are so altruistic. What the hell is this? Didn't I just down this man? Did I not just down this man? What the hell are you doing? What the hell was that? Why did he do a little circle? Why is he a ballerina? Stop it, Ash. Please stop that. 
Okay. Up you go. Honestly, though, I'm just happy that I'm getting better survivors. Why is this pallet down? What? 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 Nia, did something happen to God pallet? Did something happen to God pallet? What did you do? What did you do, Nia? What did you do? Why was God pallet thrown? What happened? I was just saying, like I literally just got done saying, well, at least I'm going against better survivors now. And then I walk up the God pallet to find it. It's been massacred. It's been mutilated. All right. What are the odds of me getting decisive strike right now? Oh my God, he's got tenacity. Oh my God, look at him go. Holy shit. I'm just gonna try it. If I get DS, I get DS. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, works for me. Okay. Thank you for the pallet. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. All right, they're over there on that gen. I just want to see. I'll let these guys get the unhook because I just want to see. No, I didn't come in at a good angle. Damn. Hi, what are you doing? I guess I'm still undetectable, right? Good, dead hard. Good, dead hard. Good stuff. Good stuff. Can I get a grab? Do you mind? Oh, she got a fast vault. No grab for me. I could have had that, though, I think. Like, she was actually kind of tucked in the angle where it would have been hard to chainsaw her, but I didn't even really come in at a good angle to even get into the jungle gym, so I don't think I really even gave my chance. I, I like, gave myself, like, a chance at it. But we'll see. These guys are, like, at the pallet. They should see me coming, though. I should have maybe took off my legacy. I did this in the first video, too, where I left my legacy on. I should probably, like, if I'm going to do this, I should probably take off my legacy. You know what I mean? I feel like... I'm trying to like stealthily chainsaw across the map, but I'm literally like shining bright. Like I'm like the I'm wearing like the brightest, most easy to spot skin in the entire video game. So like I don't really know what I expect as far as sneaking up on people. It did work in the very beginning because they were kind of like behind some walls. But aside from that very beginning, I, you know, maybe being a bright Cheeto dust monster might not be the ideal play. For stealth, you know? Although, maybe it is. Although, maybe... It is. Are they behind the rock again? Dude, why do you guys love it back here so much? Like, why are you here again? To be fair, I feel like the stealth right there kind of helped me get close to these guys. <laughs> Mia, what are you doing? There's a wall. You're not a ghost. You can't go through that. You're not a spooky ghost. You're a human. What are you doing? Anyway, I think the stealth did help me get close to these guys without them, like, running away, you know? I think had I not been undetectable, that's not what I wanted to do. I think had I not been undetectable, I think these guys probably would have, like, started running away sooner, maybe? I mean, that's even that's a maybe. Like, these guys are the, like, they're the type of the survivors that heal in the corner of the map behind a rock, you know what I mean? I don't even know if these guys would have started running away. They might have just stayed back there. Because that is, FYI, if you guys don't really understand what's, what, what, what makes that bad, don't do that. If you're trying to find a good place to heal, going to the outside of the map is not good. Because if a killer does roll up on you, kind of like I just did, then you have, like, nowhere to go. And you basically just get El Dickoed, you know? You get El Dickoed with nowhere to run to. So it's a lot better to, like, go to, like, a safe tile like this, you know? Or, like, here, like this pallet, you know? And heal there. Let me... Chainsaw from far and see what happens. Coming in. Here I come. Well, not very exciting. Hey, dude. 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 Yeah. I'm just going to hook her. Well, you know what? She's got objects, but I'm still just going to hook her. Like, I know generally where she's going, so it's not really that big of a deal. And I can see her clear as day right now. So, yeah, this is totally fine. And like, I mean, even right now, I'm stealthy. Look, she has no idea. She has no idea. That's actually kind of sick. Honestly, these add-ons are kind of cool. It, it, like, it makes it so that you can maneuver around the map without them really, like, knowing where you are until it's too late. I feel like with these, I feel like these add-ons, like, this is only one game, right? And, again, matchmaking isn't perfect. But it kind of feels like survivors are going to miss position a lot because they're not going to be sure where you are. You know what I mean? Like, you can roll up on them. Like, right now, I'm dead silent. I'm completely silent. 
So you can like roll up on like a tile like this and then they have no idea that you're there until you're like, surprise, motherfucker, you know? That's actually kind of sick. I kind of like that a lot, to be honest with you. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, GG's. Let's see how the ranks are. Uh, honestly, it's it sucks to say, but this is actually pretty good considering what I usually get. This is like better than the average that I get. The fact that there was at least one red rank means that it's better than my usual. So, uh, damn, man. Damn. Uh, GG's. Also, these guys are super kind in M-Game chat. Again, you'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. GG, boys. Alright, guys. Uh, that was a pretty good one, and I'm pretty happy with it. But like I said, it's time to go goth boy Billy. Let's do it, dude. Put on all the darkest clothes we can. Let's go, dude. Hell yeah, dude. We're emo Billy now. We're emo Billy now. Okay, but seriously, let's uh let's let's see how this actually works when we like do it in a real game. I think this will help a little bit. That way I'm not like shining bright like a diamond, you know? I'll actually be able to maybe sneak up on people. <laughs> so let's try this again and see if we can get more value out of it once again. Oh yeah, buddy. That's exactly what I wanted, dude. Hell yeah. This is wow, that's actually surprising. I did not expect. Usually whenever I try to get rotten fields, I never get rotten fields. It's always like, ah, Topa, you want rotten fields? How about rancid abattoir 8,000 times in a row? Is that what you meant? By rotten fields, did you happen to mean rancid abattoir for a thousand times in a row? And I'm like, no, Deb, I did that. I meant rotten fields. And it's like, wait, what's that? Rancid abattoir? What's that? Rancid abattoir again? And I'm like, no, man. No, really, rotten fields is fine. See, like, even here, like, I didn't get a chainsaw, like, across the map. But I feel like I was able to sneak up on these guys before they really knew what it was what, what was even trying to hit them. You know what I mean? Although this Meg was like questionable. She kind of just like ran to a corner and crouched, which is <laughs> generally isn't the ideal way to play. But if we ignore the fact that she played that in a super questionable way, pretty good, man. All right. We got to predict where this guy is. Bro, let's go, dude. Come on. You can't tell me that's not sick as fuck, dude. This guy had no idea. He was over here twiddling his thumbs in the corn, dude. He was literally just like twiddling his thumbs. Like, oh man, I hope uh, I hope nothing bad happens to me. I'm just hanging out in this here corn. Hopefully nothing goes wrong and I don't die in some mysterious way. <laughs> Bro, they have no idea, dude. They literally have no idea, dude. They're probably so confused. Holy, I am loving this way too much. Like, I am honestly enjoying this way too much. This is, this is, this is too good. This is literally too good. Like, this should be not this good. This should not be allowed to be this good. All right, it's, it's not okay. Let me, let me hook this Meg again, and then let me see if I can get more barbecue, and then let me see if we can get more cross maps. See, they're on that gen. This is perfect. Let me hook this guy, and then let me go back to that gen. And then I can come back maybe to this unhook whenever it happens, because this, this Adam's now running away. I don't know if that's in the field or not. Is that? That might be in the field, or that might be in the jungle gym. Oh, it's in, like, a tree. Shit. Stop exploding. Oh, dude, she, she saw me coming, but if she didn't see me coming, she would have been dead, though, too. All right, I just want to zone her out, make sure she's in a bad spot when I break the pilot. She actually... Positioned pretty well. She like doubled back. I could have maybe taken advantage of that, but I didn't really realize she was doing it Really people with the corner up strats today, man It's a really like ballsy strat against Billy to just corner up because like if I don't release the chainsaw at that exact moment Then you're just in a corner, you know, and then you just die. That's super ballsy But I mean hey man, I guess it works so I can't really give him too much shit Bro, is this the same Meg? Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Tell me this isn't the same Meg that I'm going to sneak up on for like a third time. Oh, wait. She ran. <laughs> she ran away. <laughs> Never mind. If it was the Meg, she got the hell out of Dodge. I backed up a little bit to hopefully get stealth, but I think I was too slow. Well? Dude, so close. If I had a little bit more of a hidden, like, angle coming in, that would have been money. That would have been money, dude. Also, that Fang just, uh, she just let go. She really do just let go, though. Interesting. 
Damn, I was going for a really aggressive curve. I was trying to like really whip it around, but I really messed up my positioning before the curve, so that was my fault. I'm actually gonna leave this guy and go to that generator because there's two people on it. And I can do stuff like this, you know? Dude, this Meg is having a game. She's having a game right now. She is having a match. This poor Meg literally just keeps minding her own business and then getting chainsawed from across the fucking map with no sound whatsoever. She's probably pissed. She is probably uninstalling this game. Not even trolling. She's out of here, dude. She is no longer a dead by dead player. Let's see if I can get this for once. Wow, I did that really badly. I timed that horribly. Oh my God, I did that bad. Where are we going, Adam? Where are we going? Pile it there, he knows it. This is actually really smart of him to loop the side that isn't good for curving. Which like, I don't know if he knows this or not. I'm not sure this Adam is big brain. Like against any other killer other than Billy, this would be the bad side to loop. But because I'm Billy, that's actually the good side to loop because I can't curve it like I can this one. Or even just chainsaw down a straightaway like that. Well, I got scared of the tree and it didn't land. Interesting. You probably should have dropped it, man. You probably should have dropped that. But it's actually kind of smart to loop the small side because it gives me less opportunities for chainsaws. I don't know if he knows that or if he's kind of just pushing buttons. It's definitely possible that he's just pushing buttons. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Dude, it's it's busted, dude. Uh, it's so good, dude. This these add-ons, if you happen to get rotten fields, is just insane. It's just insane. My, it's it's. I would love. This is not one of those things where I would love to see this from like survivor point of view. These guys are probably just chilling and minding their own business, and then just a Billy comes out of nowhere and kills them. Bro, that is amazing. That is actually so good. Holy. I mean, I mean, G, 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 G to the G, G, G to the other G. Well, the end game screen makes us a little more. Uh, okay, is this insane? Is this insane or did I just get ranked 20s? You know what I mean? I mean, maybe it's both. Maybe it's a little bit of both. Maybe it's a little bit insane, but maybe these guys also just happen to be ranked 20. You know what I mean? Also, that one Adam didn't seem like he was ranked 20. He has like a bunch of teachable perks, too. Like almost like he has two bill perks and a and a Jake perk. And they're all tier three. That's weird that he's ranked twenty. He must have like taken a break from the game or something. I I don't know, that's odd. But that's that's really unfortunate matchmaking, cause yeah. But this is again, this is why it's so hard to make videos right now. Like I, I didn't I didn't include this in the video, but I also waited like ten minutes for this game too. So making videos is just hard right now. Like I wait 10 minutes in queues and then I get games like this. So I'm probably gonna end up leaving this game in the video. Sorry, there's not really much else I could do right now. Hopefully the game, the matchmaking gets better and I can give you guys more quality games in the future. But regardless, dude, I had a good time. Like regardless of whether or not they were little babies or not, I had a good time. And I think that's all that matter. So uh, I'm just gonna say GG's to the nobody that's in this end game chat. And then I'm gonna get out of here. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was super good, man. Um, a lot of these videos I'm doing right now, I'm going to be doing part twos of. This is definitely something I'm going to do a part two of later on down the line. This is like a... These are, I feel like the videos I'm doing right now are just me playing around with certain things until matchmaking is fixed. And then once matchmaking is fixed, I'm probably going to do a part two of like every video from like now for the next like week or however long it takes for matchmaking to be fixed all these are probably gonna have part twos i'd imagine because i definitely want to try this again in the future this was this was definitely super fun but i'm really curious to see how it works against like better survivors uh thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for hanging out if you guys enjoyed the video remember to leave it a like uh sub to the channel as well because i'm uploading literally daily literally literally daily i'm uploading and i'm also streaming for like six hours a night six nights a week from 9 p.m to 3 a.m eastern time so if you haven't stopped by my Twitch channel, you should probably follow that as well. The link's below in the description. Stop by sometime and come say hi. I love talking to chat while I play games. We always have a good time over there. And uh, thank you guys for chilling. Thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you guys have a good one. I'm out of here. Fliga. Take care, Fliga. I'm out of here, Fliga. Uh, Fliga later, Fliga.